Namaste, beautiful yogis. So, 10 minute sequence for our hips. Uh, just something that you can do standing up wherever you are. If you're in your office, just get out of that office chair. If you're at home and you just need to get up for a moment, do the sequence, only 10 minutes. If you're off for a run or a hike, this is a great pre or post running hike uh, sequence. Uh, it serves so many purposes. You know, just sitting in our chair for uh, half an hour, continuously slows down our digestion by 90%. If you get up for five minutes, it's back. So there's another nice little bonus for you to do this sequence. Let's get started. So let's take a hips width uh, stance. Nice. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, take a forward fold. Inhaling, coming up again. Feel free to modify. Doing the poses halfway works as well. Good. Inhaling up. Last one. Exhale. And inhaling, coming back up, beautiful. Now take your hands to your heart center, coming into your squat. Squat can be in here very well. If you're wearing jeans, this works perfect. Or you can come all the way down. Good. Holding in here, just a moment, beautiful. Deep breath in and out. This is magic for our hips. It works all those lower leg muscles or the entire leg muscles and lower body muscles. Beautiful. Let's add a bit of a flow warmth to this sequence. Exhale, you're gonna lengthen those legs, bring the hands over to the back. And as you inhale, you come back. Exhale, back. If you are doing the half squat, you just come like this. Exhale, back. Inhale. And exhale. Now let's come all the way up, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands down. You interlock your fingers behind your back. So one option, interlocked fingers. Shoulder blades together. You can hold your wrists or you can keep your hands on your waist. Choice is yours. Let's turn over to our right. Make sure that the hips are square. Inhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale, folding down. What matters here is that the back is straight. Doesn't matter how far down you go, but keeping that back nice and straight. Good. Chest is open. Nice focus. As you inhale, you come back up and exhale, turn towards your left. Square those hips again. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, take that forward fold. Good. Nice. Going as far as it feels good. Train tracking your legs helps a lot if your hamstrings are tight. So feel free to bring your feet, ham, uh, hips with the butt. Good. And inhaling back up. Come back to the center. Give yourself a nice side hug as a counter pose. Beautiful. Release those hands. Now, we're going to take a wider stance here. Toes are pointing out. Inhaling, bringing your arms up. Exhaling, sitting down to a wide squat goddess pose. Inhaling, come up. And exhale, sit down. Good. Inhale, one last. And exhale, sit down. Bring your hands down to your thighs. Good, now tuck that tailbone under. Draw that belly in. Strong legs, hips are opening. Good job. Nice, lengthen those legs. Turn the toes slightly inwards. You can widen your stance if you want to. Bring your hands on your waist. Inhale, chest opens, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold down. Good, bringing our hands down to the ground if you wish. You can also keep them on your shoulders. You can have a bit of a bend in your knees. 
Shift the weight towards the front of the foot to get a deeper hamstring stretch. Good, hold belly in, long spine. Beautiful. Inhale as you come back up, bring your hands on your waist. Turn your right toes out. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, we're going to take a bit of a side pose, a side bend, triangle pose. So what you want to do is keep those sides nice and long. Reach out, up through that left hand. Keep those legs straight. Engage the inner thighs. Good. You can lengthen that arm. Bend over. Good. And then we're going to rotate down. We're going to turn into high lunge, reaching our arms up. Good. And straighten. As you exhale, bend. Nice. Inhale, straighten. Last. Exhale. Good, come back up, come back to the center. Let's do this on the other side. So your left toes turn out, heel in line with the center of that right foot. Okay, hands to the side, lengthen. Bring your left hand down, right hand up. Keep that chest open, engaging those inner thighs. Nice, deep breathing, lengthen to stretch out the side. Go down, come into your high lunge, feet our hips with the bar, bring your hands up, inhale, good, with your next inhalation, lengthen your leg, exhale, bend, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend, beautiful, last one, inhale, and exhale. Gorgeous, come back to the center. Walk those feet together again. Nice. Last one is the balancing poses. <clears throat> so let's hug that right knee into our chest. Nice. Circle your ankle around both ways just to release any bit of a tension from the ankle joints, any swelling. Good. Take your left hand down to your left waist. Take your right knee down to the right side. Good. You can modify this pose by keeping the toes down if you feel that the balance is out of whack today. Good. Come back to the center. Release down. Other side. So hugging that left knee into your chest. Rotating that ankle around. Other way too. And remember to smile, you know, life is just better when we're smiling. Good. Right hand on the waist, take the knee down to the side. If the balance goes, it goes, you know, every once in a while in life too, we tend to fall, then we get up and it's all okay. We wipe that tusk away. Good. Come back to the center, release. Now, standing pigeon pose, bringing that right ankle on top of that left knee, palms together, and you're gonna sit down, almost like sitting onto a chair. We wanna keep that lower back straight, keep your gaze steady on one point, one point that does not move. Good. Nice, sitting lower, if you wish. Good, coming back up. Other side, bring your left ankle down to your right thigh and start to sit down. Good, hold it there. Beautiful, come back up, shake it out. I'm so happy you did this 10 minute hip standing sequence with me. It gave some uh, well-deserved love for your hip area. Now you're ready to carry on into your day with a really flowy light steps. So see you at the next class. Lots of love, peace out, namaste.